Welcome, welcome on this glorious occasion of Max and Claire's wedding. Welcome to this glorious building and on this absolutely glorious day. We've come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Max and Claire, to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of his grace. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union may strengthen the union of their hearts and lives. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Max and Claire have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife.
So now lastly I just want to finish off um, by speaking about uh, this incredible woman beside me now. Uh, and now Mrs Claire Hazard. <laughs> uh, words can't describe how amazing it feels to finally say those words and how truly lucky I feel to be able to call you my wife. Claire has worked tirelessly for months to bring this together down to the smallest detail and to see you all here today just shows what an amazing job she's done. Now I'd like to tell you um, a little bit of an emotional thing about the first time I told Claire that I loved her. We haven't been together too long, it's only been a couple of months and we were going to Disneyland in Paris which obviously now is where we're going to our honeymoon in Florida. And after a couple of days spending there, which was just a brilliant time, on our last night we watched the fireworks and I was just overcome with emotion and I told her that I loved her. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't the first time that I told her I loved her. It was actually the fourth time that I'd met her and I was reversing off the drive and I said, bye, love you. I drove off so quickly, I was just like thinking about it for a two hours drive home. It was only last year she told me she did actually hear me. Claire truly is the most amazing person that I've ever met. It's easy to say that she has completely changed my life, has made me into the best version of myself that I could ever imagine. Everyone who meets Claire always comments on what a beautiful, caring, kind-hearted and genuinely happy individual she is. This is why our life together is so perfect. Sometimes I forget to take my head out of what it is I'm doing and just appreciate how gifted I am to have Claire in my life. And I think you'll all agree, and a lot of people come up to me and say this, how stunning she looks today. And I think, if Disney presses were real, <laughs> if Disney princesses were real, I've definitely got the best of them. But she really does inspire me to be the best that I can possibly be every single day. Nothing makes me happier than walking in the door of our house we own together and seeing her incredible smile and poppy wagging her tail. And she's obviously really chilled out at the moment. Um, I have the perfect little family and what's most exciting is that life can only get better for us. She took a huge step by rooting her life and moving to Gloucester, which I can never thank her enough. And I promise you, Claire, Sean, John and Jackie, that I will do everything I can to make each and every day better than the last. She supported me through thick and thin, well, mostly thick, but only recently a bit thinner. And um, I know with her by my side, there's no limit to what we can accomplish together. Claire, I promise to care for you and will endeavour to make you happy every day for the rest of my life. Because this is what you truly deserve and so, so much more. You coming into my life when you did was really a dream come true and I treasure that dream every single day that I'm with you. I love you more than you could ever imagine and I hope that I can be the husband that you truly deserve so I just want to make a final toast to my beautiful bride Claire.